now we are doing exercise 11.4 question number 15 question number 15 let me write down the question so here is our question question says the angle of elevations of the bird from the eye of a man on the bank of a pond is 30 degrees so there is a man okay so let us draw a man so this is a man okay what he is doing he is looking at the bird okay at the bird and this is a bird so let's let me draw a very wonderful bird this is a bird okay and this one this is a bird and bird is flying okay now and the angle of elevation comes out to be this much so let me draw the height of the bird okay and let me join these two points and let me adjust this one and let me join this one also okay the angle of elevation of a bird from the eye of a man on the bank of a pond is 30 degree so this one comes out to be 30 degree okay and the angle of depression of its reflection on the pond is 60 degree and the angle of depression on the reflection on the pond is 60 degree now a man is standing okay and he is looking in the reflection of the pond that is down here and this one comes out to be and this one comes out to be another space so this angle this angle comes out to be 60 degree okay we can understand this much find the height of the bird we need to find the height of the bird above the pond if the distance of the eye from the foot of a man is 1.5 meter distance of the eye from the foot of a man so this one comes out to be 1.5 meter okay so let me name a b c d e f okay so ad is 1.5 so let okay bc <coughs> so let c and a b c d e f this is f so let c and f be the position of bird and its reflection respectively okay this is the point of the bird and this is its reflection i hope this much is okay now given what is given given that angle c a b is equal to 30 degree and angle b a f is equal to 60 degree and a d is equal to 1.5 so we need to find the height now what what can we what we need to understand is de this is look this one de right this is a pond okay and there is a bird here so the reflection of the bird the distance this one okay till here the bird from pond up and down this distance this one and this one will be same if this is the pond then ce and ef will be same okay so like this and we know be ad and be are same right ad and be are same so first let us find 1030 and i'll tell you what we are going to do so 1030 so now therefore 10 of 30 so 10 of 30 will be equal to so 10 of 30 cb by ab 10 of 30 will be equal to cb by ab C B by A B. So 1030 it is 1 divided by root 3 is equal to C B divided by A B. So what can I do? What can I write is A B is equal to so A B transfer A B here. So A B is equal to root 3 will become root 3 C B. This is equation number 1. Okay, this much. Next 
next let us find out 10 of 60 so 10 of 60 and therefore 10 of 60 will be equal to 10 of 60 will be equal to what will be 10 of 60 10 of 60 it is bf divided by ab so 10 of 60 it will be b of f divided by ab 10 of 60 it is root 3 so ab will come here okay 10 of 60 so it will be bf divided by 10 of 60 okay ab coming here 10 60 i've taken down here you can do whatever you can do you can do anyway okay but do it correctly so 10 of 60 it is root 3 so ab is equal to bf divided by root 3 this is equation number 2 okay this much now now what we need to understand is let us equate equation number one and two so let me take a line here no no let me take new page yeah so equating equation number one and two equating equation number one and two equation number one is this one ab is called a root 3 cb so take this one root 3 cb is equal to bf by root 3 so root 3 cb is equal to bf by is equal to bf by root 3 bf divided by root 3 so root 3 into root 3 it will be 3 cb is equal to bf root 3 into root 3 it will be 3 okay now now what you need to understand is okay what do you need to understand is that bf from here b to f okay b to f it will be e of f plus b of e so b to f it will be b of e plus e to f so you can write down p e plus e f so 3cb is equal to be plus e f okay next be plus e f now we know be is 1.5 meter so write down be is 1.5 and plus e f so 1.5 plus e f so 3cb is equal to 1.5 plus e f now again I have explained to you once before also once again i'll explain you again okay so so ef okay ef this one ef and ec must be same okay ef and ec must be same because this is your pond and bird is here and this down one is your reflection then the distance from pond to the bird and the distance from this pond to the reflection must be same okay then we can say ef and ec will be same so you can write down instead of ef write down ec instead of ef write down ec so 3 cb is equal to 1.5 plus c what is that ef is equal to cb right ce okay ce ef is equal to ce ce 3 cb is equal to 1.5 plus c e what is c e here c and e this one from here c and e this distance c and e it is c b plus b e and b e is 1.5 meter 1.5 meter so c b plus 1.5 you can write down c b plus 1.5 so next page and 1.5 plus c b so 3 cb is equal to 1.5 plus 1.5 it is 3 plus cb cb transfer this side so 3 cb minus cb is equal to 3 and cb 2 cb is equal to 3 okay and cb is equal to 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5 okay i hope you know the calculation now <coughs> sorry so we need to find find the height of the bird from the, the point of the, okay we need to find the height so we need to find ce so height of the bird will be 
CB plus BE, right? So, therefore, therefore, height of the bird. height of the bird is equal to CB plus EF which is CB is 1.5 we got here okay and EF is also 1.5 which is equal to 3 meter and I hope okay and this is your answer and I hope the answer is correct that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video